I came to Newfoundland in 1984 as a kidney specialist and was interested in doing patient related research in, in patients with kidney disease and was fortunate enough to recruit some excellent people including John Harnett and Brendan Barrett and Robert Foley and we proceeded to do various types of research that evolved around trying to determine the types of cardiac disease that affected kidney patients, the risk factors for cardiac disease uh, and to develop interventions that would prevent adverse outcomes. In addition, we did research on various genetic diseases, including the cystic diseases of the kidney, that involved not only I identifying what happened in these people, but identifying the genetic cause of these conditions. Uh, as a result of that work, it was feasible to uh, get involved in multi-center studies across Canada and randomized controlled clinical trials uh, that were global in nature, particularly investigating uh, things like contrast nephropathy, uh, the treatment of anemia, chronic kidney disease, and more recently the treatment of uh, bone metabolism abnormalities of chronic kidney disease. In addition, the work on genetics uh, allowed us to uh, get involved in, or facilitated getting involved in other conditions that were not related to the kidney. So in the last decade, I've been involved in doing research on sudden cardiac death, colorectal cancer, uh, blindness, uh, and other genetic conditions in which teams were brought together in memorial and mm -hmm. collaborations across the country were initiated. And these teams involved molecular, genet molecular geneticists like Terry Lynn Young, uh, medical geneticists like Jane Green, um, GELS experts like Daryl uh, Pullman. Um, and uh, this combination of different skilled people allowed us to do really interesting work in not only determining the genetic causes of these, dis these various conditions, uh, but also the uh, expression of these diseases within families and the development of interventions that could prevent bad outcomes in, in the people who have inherited these mutations. And then the uh, final area that I got involved in was more driven by need and interest insofar as the government needed people to aggregate data, uh, to interpret the data, mm -hmm. and to provide them with some advice about how, how, what decisions they, sh they should be making in certain conditions. So we've provided data on, or provided advice that influenced policy on numbers of coronary artery bypass grafts that, that should be undertaken, number of long-term care beds that should be in various regions, the impact of restructuring of the healthcare system on, on the system, uh, etc. So I suppose that in conclusion, the, the various uh, um, things I've been interested in have all related to people, um, they're related to patient outcomes and population outcomes, and they've been in three different areas in kidney disease, in genetic disease, and then in healthcare delivery research. And I suppose the more, the more common theme has been uh, the development of teams of people to uh, execute the research, analyze the research, and present the research. I would bring in people from various disciplines and use their skills to try and answer questions that are important to patients. Uh, and it's the most interesting thing, I suppose, is that the work that I've been involved in in Newfoundland not only could only be done in Newfoundland, but the people that were recruited to these teams, I'm not sure we could have gotten those types of people anywhere else. So if I was to get up and leave, I'd need to take everybody with me. Of course, that's impossible. And on top of that, from the genetics research, you'd have to take the population of Newfoundland with you, which is impossible as well. So the, the relative success that we've had in this arena has been driven, almost has been driven entirely by the human resources here in Memorial, by the uh, patients and by the population here in Newfoundland uh, and by a kind of a uh, an altruism that's present here uh, in Memorial more so than it may well be in bigger, more obsessive centres.